Um, there's so many relevant topics and themes in this film that resonate today. Um, what stands out to you most about the story that Stephen chose to tell? Obviously, he had a, you know, he had a pick of many stories he could have told about this man. Um, what stands out to you most about the story he chose to tell, and and how audiences today might receive it? Yeah, well, when I when I first sat down to read the script, I figured I was just going to read a biography of Lincoln, and that's not what this movie is. In fact, it's it's focused on this one moment um, leading up to excuse me, leading up to the passing of the 13th Amendment to the Constitution and slavery in the United States. And uh, what struck me the most, I guess, is that this was controversial. You know, now it, it seems pretty obvious no human being should be a slave. Um, all men are created equal, isn't that the whole point? Um, but back then, super controversial. I mean, on on both sides, that, that was another thing that really struck me, is that Lincoln wasn't just contending with uh, the Democrats, because back then the Democratic Party was the conservative party and the Republican Party was the more progressive party. Um, and he wasn't just contending with the Democrats who wanted to keep slavery legal. He was also contending with um, more progressive and revolutionary Republicans to the left of him who were holding ideas that, again, today seem completely normal, like the fact that black people should be allowed to vote, and that black people and white people should be able to get married, et cetera. Um, back then, really, really, really revolutionary, controversial ideas, and Lincoln had to make these compromises. Lincoln had to say, I know, I know that's the right thing to do, but I can't push for it right now, because if I do, then I'll lose all of these people, and we won't be able to take any steps forward, we'll just be stuck. And. Uh, he received grief, so much grief from, from all sides and so much criticism. And uh, I guess that's what a leader is. Tell me about working with Steven. What's, what's unique about the way he works with his actors and the enthusiasm he has for his films? Well, <clears throat> what I noticed most about Steven immediately and what stuck with me was just how happy he was to be a uh, on set and how enthusiastic, just just gleeful. Um, you know, you'd think he's Steven Spielberg. He's one of the most successful and renowned filmmakers of all time. He's probably kind of, you know, it's another day at the office. Not at all. Uh, I, I, I think this project was really special to him. This is this is a particular movie he's been trying to make happen for years. And, and uh, Man, just every day, every shot, he had such love for what he was doing. It's, and then and that's contagious. How would you describe this film to someone who knows nothing about it? And, and what do you hope that audiences can take from this film? Uh, well, the first thing I would say to somebody who doesn't know anything about it is, this isn't just some patriotic, you know, biography about, oh, you know, I pledge allegiance to Abraham Lincoln. This is a story about a human being. And I think it's important to recognize that even though he was a great leader and you know, arguably the greatest president ever, um, he was a human being who did have his imperfections and did make mistakes. But besides that being important to recognize, it also just makes it a, a fun movie to watch because that's, that's what makes any great drama. Um, and this is, uh, it, it's riveting. It's, you know, it's a Spielberg movie. I, that's, that's what really surprised me is it, it didn't feel like, uh, it didn't feel like dense and it didn't feel like, you know, history class. It felt like a really intense, um, great story.